Aries in your zodiac year. People who were born 22nd of March until um, the 28th. 22nd of March until the 28th. Let's see what's coming out for your birthdays. All right, let's um, just a little adjustment. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's go in it. So people who were born on the 22nd, you have the energy of the hermit. And the energy of the hermit is a corporation institution that some of you Aries are going to be dealing with. However, that is coming up in transparent. Um, people who were born on the 22nd, you are going to be dealing with a corporation institution. So um, there's a lot of stuff that is coming up for um, you Aries that was born on the 22nd. So uh, let's go in and see what is happening, what is transpiring. Aries, happy birthdays. Uh, happy birthdays. Um, happy late birthdays to um, all you Aries that have really have birthdays. Let's see what's coming up for the people who are born on the 22nd corporation institution. What is going on? So we see um, the Ace of Cups in reverse for you Aries. Whatever is happening to whoever is born on the 22nd. Some sort of a problem with a corporation institution. Um, and the Ace of Cups is in the reverse. Okay. Um, the Ace of Cups in reverse is that some sort of a problem. And I see the Ears of Source, some sort of information come out about you, Aries, in a corporation institution. Um, so you have the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Ace of uh, Swords also in reverse. There is some sort of information um, that came out. So you got to be aware, love and uh, uh, love and some sort of a communication in a corporation institution, some sort of information is now out and people are recognizing something. So this year is that a lot of you Aries are going to be having problem with corporation institution, okay? Especially people who were born on the 22nd. I see you having a lot of problems and issue with corporation institution. Whatever is happening and transpiring, it's uh, not going to be good. A lot of you Aries are going to be having a whole lot of issues, okay? So um, this is coming out, you gotta be aware. Then we see a lot of you are hoping for some sort of a situation to over, whatever that was happening and transpiring. A lot of you Aries are hoping for some sort of a problem with a corporation institution to come to an end. People who were born on the 23rd of, uh, um, the 23rd of uh, April, you are having the energy of uh, overcoming some sort of a situation, victory and success for you guys overcoming some sort of problem issue in a corporation institution. People are now recognizing um, a whole lot of issue in this year. Yeah, people are now seeing the truth. The, the truth is now revealing about some sort of a problem with a car, um, some sort of a travel information documents. And you have the ace, the, um, the energy in reverse of uh, um, the six of cups with friends. You're recognizing and seeing the truth about friends. Some sort of information is going to be coming out this year about friends and recognizing the truth and seeing the truth about friends. So whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring, a lot of you are going to be recognized something about a Leo. They're recognizing the truth about a Leo friend and who this person is and what they have done and uh, um, some sort of information you're going to be um, uh, um, having um, about a Leo friend. So some sort of some of you are dealing with some sort of a travel issue or an issue with a car, that sort of a thing. People are now recognizing and seeing the truth. The truth is being resolved and coming out about some sort of a travel information documentation. People are now recognizing the truth for the people who were born on the 23rd. And the truth is going to be coming out about your friends. You're going to be finding out something about your friends. Um, some of you, you could be friends with a Leo. You're going to be finding out something about your friends. Okay. So it is a year of rec um, people recognizing and seeing the truth of what was happening and transpiring. And I see some sort of a healing is going to be coming in because truth comes out. Um, friends, friendship is going to be mended because some sort of a truth came out. People recognize 
um, what was happening. And I see a friendship is going to be mending for some of you that was having some sort of a problem with a friend or friends or people because information came out and people are now um, understanding the situation and recognizing what was happening. As we move to the people who were born on the 24th of uh, March, um, that is hair transition. It's going to be an emotional year where something is going to be coming to an end. What is it that is going to be coming to an end? Some sort of a conflict, uh, the four of wands. Uh, um, a transition is going to be coming up at work or at home. Some of you could be um, thinking about uh, um, changing resident, that sort of a thing. Um, some sort of information is going to be coming out. Uh, and we have the nine of cups, your wishes and dream is going to be granted. So whatever that was happening and transpiring for people who were born on the 24th, um, some sort of a problem issue, a transition is going to be coming up. Your wishes and dream is going to be coming in. Long-term stability with a house corporation institution is going to be happening and they're going to be recognizing you have the energy of the nine of cups in the upright. So people who are born on the 24th, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, it's going to be a good year for you guys. It's going to be a really, really good year for you guys. Some sort of a transition is coming in at the workplace that is going to be bringing a lot of you a whole lot of luck. So this is a really powerful um, positive alignment of energy. Um, this is good. Your wishes and dream is going to be granted. I see that you men are going to be losing, businessmen are going to be losing, but um, um, for a lot of you, you're going to be winning. But businessmen, um, some sort of a business deal, a lot of you businessmen are going to be losing. But for the rest of you, I see um, your wishes and dream is going to be granted. But for a lot of businessmen, you are going to be losing. It is a strong year, and this year is about work, stability, business, that sort of a thing. Happiness and joy is going to be coming back. Transition is going to be coming in your business. Um, a lot of you are going to be moving. A lot of you are going to be buying a house. A lot of you um, is going to be working about a lot of issue. So when we look, a lot of you are going to be finding out the truth, all right, so um, people who were born 22nd to 24th, um, you're going to be finding out the truth. Um, and it could be the truth about uh, your partner, some sort of a relationship is going to be coming out. Um, some sort of a situation about work is going to be good. People are recognizing the truth. I see that they recognize that uh, some sort of a secret was old with friends. Uh, that is going to be coming out. A lot of you are going to be turning your back. A corporation institution, an end is coming in to a corporation institution, especially for businessmen. Businessmen, you're going to be having a loss in this year because they're going to be recognizing the truth. Then we look at the hangman energy for the people who are born on the 25th. You have the energy of the hangman. Um, and this hangman is, is showing up a lot of stuff that you are not aware of. The Ten of Wands, a lot of you are going to be having some sort of a burdens. Um, a lot of you are going to be having a lot of burdens and issues that is coming out. And I see a lot of you, there is going to be burdens and issues over financial um, stability, over your business, some sort of a um, burden and issue at the workplace, a whole lot of work, um, a whole lot of problems and situation to be resolved. And, and all of the information is going to be coming through where people are going to be recognizing the truth and recognizing the conflicts and situation that was happening and transpiring around a lot of you. So this Angman energy is showing up. It's as if a whole lot of things, a whole lot of you are going within and is recognizing a whole lot of data documentation came out. People are recognizing and as something about work and business problems, a whole lot of um, work, a whole lot of business could be coming up for some of you. If you are in that field, a whole lot of documentation came out and they're recognizing something that was happening and transpiring. And it has to do with, uh, with work or some sort of a project some of you were working on. And especially for people overseas, they're going to be recognizing um, something about your business overseas that there was people that was trying to 
profit from your business overseas that sort of a situation could be coming in some of you are going to be traveling for work some of you are going to be getting some sort of a new business advantage to travel for work so this is going to be good the energy of the hangman it is always number three okay so a lot of you are dealing with three and twelve energies um, then we have 10 of ones and we have the seven of pentacles. So a lot of situation with work or business with work is going to be coming up for a lot of you guys. So be aware of this. Be aware of this. Then we are looking at the people who are born on the 26th. We have the energy of the world. This is a good year for you guys. The energy of the world is about ending new cycles. It's going to be coming in and it's going to be more beautiful than you ever had hoped for. Um, some sort of a really positive alignment of energy. Oh, because people are recognizing and seeing the truth. Um, there is some sort of information about money is going to be coming out. Money is going to be returning to some of you. And um, then we see the energy. Yes, money is going to be returning to a lot of you. Um, the energy of the Ace of Pentacles and money um, is going to be returning to a lot of you. So this is going to be good. Some of you were not aware um, of what was transpiring. Some sort of an ending is going to be bringing back money to a whole lot of you. And this is going to be good. So people who are born on the 26th is going to be a good year. A, sign, a cycle is going to be ending for a Taurus. And they're going to be recognizing what a Taurus have done. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Mm, these fell out. Okay. So whoever was dealing with a Taurus, I see um, some sort of information came out about a Taurus, about what a Taurus have done. And they're recognizing the unfair game of a Taurus. And they're ending a situation. They recognize that a Taurus um, is a false um, they recognize how false and deceptive a Taurus is and was. And they're seeing the truth about what a Taurus have done. They're definitely seeing how a Taurus could have sell information and data to a lot of you and recognizing the false height of a Taurus. Then we are looking at the people who are born on the 27th of uh, March. Justice is going to be coming in. Some sort of a situation that was uh, transpiring. A lot of you Aries that is born the 27th of March. Justice is going to be coming in. Um, what is this justice is over? Um, justice but balance and in a very positive way. And it's going to be happening justice against uh, um, some sort of an emotional situation that was transpiring. You could have been dealing with a Pisces. Uh, so justice is going to be coming down on a Pisces. Whoever this Pisces is, they're going to be recognizing that a Pisces has done something, a whole lot of emotional situation. So it could be also a situation that is coming up with your marriage, your relationship, or uh, something that a Pisces have done. They are recognizing what a Pisces have done. Um, then we have the Ace of Pentacles. Oh my God, this is so cool. Um, the Ace of Pentacles. So I see they're going to be recognizing what a Pisces have done and money is definitely, definitely going to be returning um, to a lot of you guys uh, because they recognize uh, some sort of a fall play of a Pisces or whatever the Pisces is and money is going to be returning. I see a lot of you are going to be very, very happy. If you are dealing with some sort of a legal issue for people who are born on the 27th of March, um, you're going to be very, very happy because some sort of a news is going to be coming in um, that um, alimentation is going to be coming in. Child support money is going to be coming in. But a whole lot of money is going to be coming in in this year. It's going to be a very, very happy year for you guys because some sort of a balance come in where emotional situation that was created with your marriage, your relationship is now coming to an end and people are now recognizing the play, what was happening and transpiring. Then for the people who were born on the 28th, it's a year where something is going to be leaving your life. Some sort of unexpected changes is going to be leaving your life, whatever happened and transpiring. So out of the blues, unexpected changes is going to be leaving the lives of uh, you, Aries, that is born on the 28th of uh, March for some sort of a reason, some sort of a blockages that was created. 
um, information is going to be coming out. It could be a legal suit, a lawsuit. Information is going to be coming out. They're going to be recognizing um, what was happening, what was transpiring. A tower moment is coming down. And um, this energy of uh, um, the ace, um, this is the energy of the um, king of cups. Um, the king of cups and the queen of cups is going to be affected where they're finding out something about a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, man are of woman man or a woman and they're finding out and some of you could have had some sort of a legal issue um that that is transpiring a tower moment is coming down on a um it's going to be ending a legal issue in a tower moment on a libran a tower moment on a um pisces cancer or scorpion person they are now recognizing and seeing the truth of this person and what this person was doing and how this person has created a whole lot of issues. So people who are born on the 28th, some sort of unexpected um, changes is coming out. And I see sadness for a Pisces man. Whoever this Pisces man is, sadness is coming up for a Pisces man. If you are married to this person, I see sadness is coming up to a Pisces cancer or scorpion. But it's coming up as a Pisces man. Sadness for the Pisces man. Um, some sort of information was revealed and a tower moment came down on the Pisces man and they're recognizing something about a Pisces man. Whoever the Pisces man is, is as if people have recognized what this man has done and how this man has created a whole lot of problems and it is going to be coming out. So this year for a lot of you is about a corporation institution that some of you were dealing with some sort of an issue. It could be a car dealership and that sort of a thing or some sort of a travel situation. An end is coming in um, and people are now recognizing the truth and people have seen a whole lot of documentation and data and recognize that there was some sort of a foul play that was transpired. A new start is going to be coming in balance, is going to be returning in your life. And whatever the blockage is and was, is going to be resolved and disappear. Um, a corporation institution has seen something about a Pisces cancer scorpion woman. Some sort of a truth is coming out about this person and um, their house, their bank or a financial institution. A lot of data from out of a company came out about Pisces woman, whoever the spicy woman is. I see the energy of health is going to be coming in and um, a lot of you, your emotional instability is going to be over because they're going to be recognizing something, some form of the information came out that they're recognizing that there was some un unsavorable play that was going on and some sort of information comes out. So then we see the energy of a Aquarian Gemini or Libra person. I see that this person is now worried. I see that some of you are going to be reunited with a scorpion, whoever the scorpion is. Some sort of a reunion is coming in for you and a scorpion. I see a lot of you, your wishes and dreams is going to be in love, is going to be good. A lot of you are going to be happy reuniting with a scorpion. So that is going to be good for you, Aries. But for a businessman, I see troubles in um, your business, whatever is happening and transpiring, a whole lot of troubles is in your business. Then we see um, uh, seven of pentacles, some, um, some sort of a situation where uh, some of you could be traveling for work, okay, or relocating, traveling for work or relocating. There is some sort of a situation in another place, in another country, some sort of a help, some sort of a legal issue is going to be coming in and a lot of you could be traveling, okay? Then we see Falsita comes up and a tower moment is coming down on Falsita and this energy of Falsita is that um, it is going to be affecting the people who were born on the 26th, so some sort of a false situation. So people who were born on March 26th, some sort of a false situation, they're going to be recognizing that some sort of a false play um, had transpired. They're now recognizing and seeing the truth and is going to be trying to resolve some sort of an issue with some sort of a false play that was transpiring. 
um, in your world and people are going to be recognizing some sort of an unconventional situation. Then we see emotion. Emotions is coming up. Some sort of a help, um, um, help with some sort of a legal um, situation is going to be coming in and that is going to be bringing back a lot of money because there was some sort of a unconventional situation that was transpiring. A tower moment is going to be coming in and ending this and I see a Pisces Cancer, a Scorpion man is going to be ending up with a whole lot of legal issues and they're going to be coming down on this man. This man is someone who is over the years of 40 years old. Um, whatever this man has done, I see people are recognizing. I see sadness for this man. A tower moment because detail showed up some sort of information about a Pisces Cancer, a Scorpion man. And I see sadness for this man and a tower moment is coming down on this person. So I see a lot of you are going to be turning your back on a marriage. Um, I, I see a loss for you businessmen. A lot of businessmen who are business investors, they're going to be finding out that a businessman and his business partners are have created some sort of a fraud and created some sort of a false item. And I see a lot of you are going to be happily getting out of a situation and is going to be moving um, away from, you know, uncon people that no longer serves you. You're going to be just moving away from people that no longer serve you. You're going to be recognizing that people no longer serve you and you're going to be moving them out of your world. A tower moment is coming down for a Libra and a Pisces as a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion. Whoever this Libra is, some sort of a huge problem for a Libra and a older Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion man. I see this um, all the Pisces cancer scorpion man is going to be having a huge le uh, legal issue on their ends. Okay. Um, then when we look at the center, I see a situation with a house. I see truths are coming out and I see help is going to be coming in. They recognize that um, uh, people were creating some sort of a false fear, was trying to get something, they're ending it and bring it some sort of a balance and new start. They recognize that there was some sort of a false play with data and information and documentation. So this is going to be coming out. A lot of you, especially people who were born from the 25th until the 28th, um, money is not really going to be a problem, especially people who were born and money is not going to be a problem. A lot of you are going to be get, getting some sort of a help. Data and information has shown up what was happening, what was transpiring, a whole lot of data and information they're recognizing. Uh, data and information is going to be coming out and they're going to be showing up a whole lot of unconventional um, problems that was transpiring behind the scenes. So recognize that. So um, you know, this year for you, Aries, is going to be a year of cleaning up karmas. Truths are coming out about documentation and data. They're recognizing because a corporation institution has now hold on to a Pisces cancer or scorpion woman because they saw um, that this Pisces cancer or scorpion woman have data information and got help. Uh, emotions a huge lawsuit is coming out for a pisces cancer a scorpion woman then for an aquarian gemini or libran i see that they're recognizing how this person friends had gotten some sort of a contract something to do with a, a scorpion woman how a scorpion woman got some sort of a contract they're now finding out how the scorpion woman got some sort of a contract Happiness and joy is going to be returning in the world of you guys because you're going to be overcoming um, a group of criminal, a network, a group of a um, criminal network of businessmen that try to create some sort of a horrible, um, horrible stench um, around you and got a lot of you areas connected with some sorts of uh, international criminal organization. Um, People who were born on the 27 is going to be a very lucky year, a very lucky positive year, a whole lot of emotional situation, but happiness is going to be returning in your life, okay? Um, and I don't know who is married to a Pisces man. 
I see sadness for the Pisces man. Some sort of information data came out about Pisces man, and there's a whole lot of sadness for the Pisces man. But it could be a, a Pisces businessman or a Pisces man that some of you were doing business with. So, what a deal, ladies and gentlemen! What a deal! What a deal! What a deal! All right. So, um, you know, I'm going to leave you at this because it's going to be. Um, it's, it's just going to be a year where a lot of stuff you need to clear up, a lot of stuff, clean up a lot of stuff. But the Nine of Cups is here. Remember how this work is that uh, month by month, this works month by month. Um, if you begin on the 22nd, April, this issue is going to be happening. May transition, um, June um, you're going to be in a hangman position waiting for some sort of a details document. Uh, July, uh, you have the energy of a cyclist over August. Some sort of a balance come in to some sort of an emotional situation. Divorce could be over. Um, um, August, September, a tower moment. Problems with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion boss. I see all of this is coming up, so be aware. I got to go. I'm saying namaste. Until next time.